Yes. Uh, Sir, good may afternoon. I help you? Yeah, good afternoon. Happy New Year. Sir, can we have a few more details po dun sa uh, sinabi sa amin ni Secretary Panalo kanina na meron na pong bagong kontrata for the water concessionaires? No, there is no contract. What we are ready to give to the parties, the distributors, is a draft uh, which we would like to be enforced instead of the old one, which uh, we think is not good for the Filipino. So, sir, draft po. When are we... Draft lang po. Draft pa lang po. Uh -huh. So when are we going to finalize it and give it to the Well, uh, I'm sure that uh, one, of the cab one or two of the cabinet, I cannot mention their names, are working at it. Uh -huh. Sir, last question on the subject. If they do not accept, sir, Yung <laughs> That's the proper problem. That's not, I said that is not my problem. I have this draft. Whether you accept it or not. You do not accept it, then there is no contract. For after all, as I have said, right at the beginning, when I saw the contract, I said this document is null and void from the beginning because uh, it has uh, so many provisions that would infringe into the penal laws of the Philippines, particularly the anti-graft and corrupt practices act. So what will happen now to water distribution if they do not accept? Well, uh, uh, then I, I will have to operate the distribution system. Uh, it's either they accept with no guarantee that they will not be prosecuted, or if they do not accept it, then I will nationalize the water system and prosecute them for plunder or stuff on a large scale. So do, you, do you have a time frame for the, the, for the uh, companies to decide? No, I'm not hurrying them up, but I am not paying anything. Forget, if I were uh, the distributors, forget about that seven million arbitral award. I am not going to pay any anything, not a single cent. Wala namang balyo siguro yung centavos, pero wala silang makuha sa akin. Yeah, Mr. President, uh, also on the press con of Secretary Salvador Penelo, may binanggit po siya na you have a message daw po to uh, Iranian government uh, regarding po sa mga OFWs natin sa bansa. Well, I have sent Secretary Mamao. He's a uh, Maranao. He's my, he's a cabinet member. He's my fraternity brother. I trust him. Uh, I've sent him to both uh, Tehran and uh, in Baghdad, if he can make it, to talk to the leaders about the plight of the Filipino workers. That is all there is to it just to get the assurance that my countrymen will have the egress just in case hell breaks loose in that Middle East. Uh, Mr. President, may, may we also clarify that you have mentioned last night now that uh, uh, kung masasaktan ang, uh, may masasaktan mga OFWs sa bansang Iran, you might be siding with America. Is it true? No, Mr. I would President? not like it. I, I, I just, just a projection. Uh, I, I, I might send more than just uh, a special envoy to do the talking. Uh, kung may masaktan, then we we'll just have to move physically, not only verbal. Uh, what it would consist of, I cannot, as of now, tell you. But uh, we have uh, asked the 
the, 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 the Department of the Defense to study on how they would make uh, their way out. And I have asked also the Department of Finance to reserve a certain amount for that exigency if it ever comes. Uh, so clarification, look, uh, the statement that you will be siding with any nation kung may masasaktan po sa mga Filipino yes. natin is not accurate? Uh, well, uh, I suppose that there are so many. Uh, it's a multiracial union genre. Workers and all, Arabs of different uh, persuasion, both in uh, Sunni, Shiite, and you have the workers and you have the Americans there stationed. Uh, I, I hope that uh, uh, they would do everything uh, to assure the safety, that uh, no Filipino gets hurt. Uh, because kung sabi mo may masaktan o may mga casualty, then I would not like it. Then I have to rethink uh, my position. Mr. President, what's your opinion on Vice President Lenny Robredo calling your drug campaign a failure? Well, she has been there how many days? 17? 18. 18 days. Uh, you know, I hate to say this, but uh, how many voters are there in the Philippines? And uh, just uh, do away with the 200,000 plus that she got as a majority over Marco. Uh, it, it, it was really a mistake. I mean, uh, with a slim margin, and you talk big. You know, for all of these years, she has done nothing. She is a colossal blunder. Colossal blunder. Blunder. What about her recommendations, Mr. President? For example, to transfer the chairmanship of ICAD to Dangerous Drugs Board? Sinabi po niya yun sa press conference. Saan ko ilipat? From PDEA, ilipat po sa Dangerous Drugs Board, yung chairmanship po ng ICAD. Are you in favor of that? Uh, if ever. Kung sakali lang. Maging presidente siya. Gawin niya yan. She does not lecture on me. I do not have the slightest, you know, as a lawyer, lecturing on me, well, she should revisit her record, I suggest. Mayor? Ma'am? In case po mag-escalate yung violence sa Middle East. Yan ang masakit ko ngayon, ma'am. Diyan ako hindi nakatulog talaga. Totoo lang. I, I, uh, I was trying to... Well, I was with uh, two others and we were trying to uh, shoot the breeze uh, last night. Natulog ako siguro mga alas... alas cinco na, alas seis. We're drinking coffee and just discussing how we would do it. Uh, just well, I, th 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 that the plan is uh, of the military. We're just reviewing it. So this is plan A, plan B, and the worst scenario case. Popotok uh, talaga, uh, and they begin using uh, high explosives. I invoke puba o i enforce natin yung provisions ng enhanced defense no, operation. No, it applies only sa Philippines. If there is an attack, and besides, um, the armed forces of the United States must get the permission from the. It's not automatic. So, is there is a provision that would allow U.S. troops to go to agreed locations in the Philippines in case? Kailangan nila ng stage point or jumping off point going to. Other a transit 
Opo, sir. Well, well they have the basis. Ganyan. We will continue to just the, uh, visiting visiting uh, horses agreement. We will continue to respect it in transit. But uh, to use the Philippines as a launching pad for to fly the missiles and uh, the rockets, uh, I do not think that I have to stop them. Refu refueling of their... Yes, I said uh, the normal. We allow uh, sh ships, of, uh, the great ships of uh, other nations to park here and uh, get some uh, provisionings. Nila. How about uh, allowing Philippine troops to join? The Out of the question. Out of the question. Unless uh, the national interest would demand it and it will be decided not by me, but me and Congress. So is that the reason why you are asking a special session of Congress? A special session po ng Congress? Yes. Powers to... Well, uh, I said there's money, but you cannot, you cannot spend it. It has to be budgeted. Only Congress can order the National Treasury to set aside a certain amount, and that is not enough. That is not no reason really for you to spend it. You have to get the permission from Congress to use the money. Okay, uh, now. Sir, uh, uh, good afternoon po. Uh, balik tayo sa water. Na during your uh, cabinet meeting last night, pwede po ba namin malaman yung kung ano yung magiging contents po ng bagong kontrata? No, no. I, 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 I have to, well, po respeto naman. Uh, I, I would allow them to review it first and give their comments. But definitely, wala na doon yung mga honoris, honorus na mga ano, sir. Uh, as sure as the sun will rise in the east every morning, uh, the honorus provisions will have its sunset. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yung sa mga honors po, yun sa mga may kinalaman sa kontrato, sir, kanina nabanggit ni Secretary Panelo, regardless kung pumira, uh, pumayag po yung mga honors doon sa bagong kontrata na na ipapresent sa anila, sir, uh, continuous rin po rin, uh, uh, itutuloy po rin yung, ano, yung uh, pagsasampa ng kaso, sir. Tama po ba? Comment. Ang well, I cannot stop anyone, especially a Filipino and a consumer of water to file any case to want damages or anything. That's the worry of the, of the concessioners. It's not my worry, actually. Wala akong pakialam dyan. I leave it to anybody's uh, choice to run after or not to run after. Me, I said, uh, I'm proposing a new contract. You accept it. And if it's to your liking, sign it. If you don't, then there is no water. I will order the military to take over. And I will nationalize the water issue, and then I will file the corresponding charges. It's clearly any uh, you ask any lawyer. It's clearly, clearly, large scale or maybe plunder. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Not at this time. I have uh, ordered Secretary Anyo to make the correction. You know, historically, historically, the police, the PNP, has always been a problem for any administration. Alam ninyo yan. And I think that with the remaining, remaining two years, if I can just fix a third of what's bugging the PNP, and that is corruption. So, meaning, sir, for the remaining years in your term, wala na kayo i-appoint na PNP chief? No. Is that what you're saying? This should have a, this should have a commander. Okay. I said, uh, 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 if I appoint one from them, uh, from, their, uh, from the ranks, uh, he would not be able to solve the problem. He would have to need to go to court and do this and do that. Uh, 
I, 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 I have given Secretary Anyo the blanket authority to get rid of corruption. And it is on his shoulder the future of how the police would behave in the coming years. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, thank you, Saan, ma'am? Nasa. Uh, uh, so. If the weather will not allow it, it's a, it, uh, a low ceiling cloud. Paano ko maglipad? Diretso ka sa bukid. You know, it, itong uh, helicopter man is, is visual. But sometimes I force them to take off especially if I want to go home. Uh, I do not want to rest uh, on any other way. Pinipilit ko sila na mag-take off kami, even in total darkness. But sometimes, if you cannot really see your way in and out of where you are going, then if you say that uh, it's not good to fly there uh, this time. It's all, it's, it's all clouds. You, you know, when you're inside a cloud, you'd never, and this turbulence, you want to mo pang aeroplano, pag dumadaan ang cloud, you know, pag nas, if you are in a thick of a cloud, na wala ka, there's no way that you can go out safely. Kaya yung mga, noon mga, sa Malacan niya, nag-crash na. Because inside the clouds, hindi mo alam kung naka, naka, you're on your side, or naka, naka upside down ka na. Uh, masama ang loob ko, ma'am. Hindi ang pakiramdam. Hmm. Well, I said, I'm, I'm 74. Most of my, uh, the cabinet members are uh, also at my age. Kabats ko pa, classmate ko pa, kababata ko. Pag natumba ako, tumba lahat yan. Sigurado yan. Hindi lang ako. Maliga. Maligaya si Lene.